<laughs> Chris is here now, along with uh, oh yeah, Nancy Tedeschi, Claire Warner, an inventor yourself. Thanks for coming in early. Hey, Good morning. Welcome. Good to see you. Good morning. This is something, huh? This is cool stuff. You know, the, meeting Anthony Sullivan, it, it, it was like a tornado in the building He's without the weather guys going crazy. I mean, it was right over here, and you, you can't get a word in. Not, not that you usually can with me either, but boy, oh boy, he just goes, 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 goes. And you can see why these companies go to somebody like that right. to try and generate excitement. But you know what? It begins with an idea. And this is a lady that had an idea. Yeah. What was your idea? My idea was the snap-it screw. It's actually a screw that helps you repair your eyeglasses. It actually has a guide on it, so when you break your glasses, the guide actually fits right into the hole. You tighten it, and once it's in, it just breaks off like that. So the remainder of it, the excess, just yeah, the snaps excess, off. Yep, and it makes it easy to handle, easy to align, uh, easy, you know, it actually re-threads. If you strip your hinge, it's made of stainless steel, so it'll recut the threads. Wow. So easy caveman could do it. That's right. All right, where did this come from? You obviously, was it a broken, a pair of broken eyes? Yeah, well, well kind of, in a roundabout way. My mother was over in Nicaragua. She was actually doing missionary work. And she broke her glasses, and there was no place for her to fix them. So she took her earring out of her ear, and she stuck it through the hole in the glasses, and she wore this bead around her, right down her face. And I actually have a patent on the charms. About a year later, she traveled everywhere in the world, and everybody kept saying, where did you get that? She was in India. The jewelers were attacking her. She was just in Japan. They were like, take her off the street. Where did you get that? So she came to me and she said I had to invent charms for glasses and that's what I did. My first patent is on the charms, but in the process, I was taking the screw in and out and I'm like, wait a minute, there's gotta be a better way. So that's how this product came about. So in the middle of doing all the charms, which my mother's a part of and she's right. not a part of this, I stopped and I said, Ma, the screw is way easier to get out. So I actually got that out. I applied for my patent, it's worldwide. It patents all over the world. Before we go, I mean, we don't have a little time left. You won a competition yes, through Walmart. I did. At Walmart, I, uh, Walmart just had get on the shelf competition, and uh, there were 4,300 products entered into the competition, and they picked three. They picked a grand prize and two first prize winners. I was one of the first prize winners in the contest. It was all social media driven, so you had to go on Facebook and get all your friends to vote and go all over. And she, my, my assistant actually dressed up as a screw and we flew to New York and we got on Good Morning America and the Today what? Show. Really? Yeah. Those shows are still on. I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, uh, well, let, me, let me ask you one question real quick. Uh, they were thinking of Sticky Buddy. They'll sell millions of these. How many of these do you think they'll sell? Um, I've already sold five million screws to the optical world and about 400,000 of those. And this has been on the market since June. Wow, millions more to go. Holy tomorrow. Yeah, I was actually wow. awarded the Optical Laboratory Association Award this year. Award Congratulations. Of Excellence. Congratulations. Love it. Come Thanks. back and see us, will you? I will. Love to. Thinking stuff. We want to hear about it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, man. This is fun. I can be a pitch man. <laughs> All right. You're hired.